alongside the co-editors, interested and invited contributors have created content for 12 issues to be freely distributed here. The first issue was printed on Saturday the 28th of June 2014. To date, live publishing has included in print Morgan Kahn, Katie Christopher, Becca Clark, Caitlin Davidson, Cicely Farah, Lauren Howitt, Neela Hoori, Holly Kesey, Rebecca Leveson, Steph Little, Kirsty McEwen, Julie Muir, Katie Reed, Beth Savage, Sean Scott, Tracy Stefanucci, Craig Thompson, and Daniel Tominski. Live publishing was instigated in response to Studio Jamming, artist collaborations in Scotland. Effectively, this has been a sharing and or exchanging of ideas on a page. We are here today making a problematic declaration. We are negotiating the defining terms of what feels at the moment like a newly formed collage. Throughout today, live publishing will be ongoing, as will considerations of definition within the notion of collaborative practice. Disparate voices come together to create content of this physical iteration of live publishing. Our collaboration has never made us all together. Who is a core member of the collaborative group and who is a guest? It occurs to our delayed schedule. Does it always fit? What is it to do? Need it fit? Or does this depend on those who have collaborated and those who have contributed? Is, is there, there a different, different level of commitment and time, time involved in these? Self definition. We, we are our audience. audience. Life publishing is a physical publication. A group, a group of, of artists. A hobby. Is, is it a hobby? It's not our main focus. It can, can be in between. It's not always your main focus, it's something that you enjoy and come to when you can. Does this make it a hobby, or is it more to do with the complexity of artist lifestyles and the difficulties in maintaining this within the current economic structures? Why is it not work, or rather a vocation, because it is something we enjoy? So this is a vocation then? Life publishing is an exploration of concepts. Taking elements of a shared idea and allowing it to grow its own presence. An experiment. Difficult to define. Then why define it as anything more than publishing? The context informs the content. The process is central to the project. The publication can't be envisaged until they come into existence. That's about the here and now, not what it may become. It relies upon all of us and the others who cannot be here today. The collaboration happens on the page. It's printed material that matters. The contributors are collaborating with ideas, sharing and exchanging ideas. Could it also be termed a curation of ideas to care for and to present? We put fragments on top of each other, kind of a kind of in an intertwined manner. Does this mean it's not so much about ownership? Our names are on the issues. Ownership is difficult. We are utilizing the principles of collage. It's more the sum of its parts, it's the end and outcome that we all take ownership over rather than the individual parts. Crediting the name of a contributor is akin to punctuation, acknowledging someone else's voice. We grew to become a collage, a critical and layered voice that was more than the sum of its parts. Individual, individual credits are only means of punctuation, punctuation. a light nod to, to a change in tone, meaning, meaning or opinion. DT. We are assembling a live archive that develops through the period of studio jamming. But then, whether or, whether or how we continue on is another question, KR. It's always about the origin. You can't really say where it's going to go, end of age. To dream of the future is useful, and usually easier than creating accurate maps of the present. If we don't dream with an intention, then where does the momentum for change come from? Where is, it, where is this now? What do we hope it could be? What actions could be put in place to move towards it, towards that, HK? Present. Live publishing responds, changes, argues and dreams. Content is created, layered and published in the moment, B. Future. The publications exist as an archive, a curated collection of ideas. It this need not, need, need not be a utopia nor a map. It will be the cumulative in intent, action or commitment of each individual that will decide if live publishing as a future. This may they change, change or fade with time. B. Future, past. From this perspective, the publications could become more collaborative. 
Intent could be read into them that was never present or was perhaps not evident at the time. This may be ignored or utilized by future collaborators and contributors or exist purely as a relic. The Alternatively, all references, emails, documentation, and copies of publications could be destroyed, all ties severed, live publishing could dissolve, having existed only briefly in tangible form, and then only as memory until this two phase B. Would live publishing exist without the issues? Would we be a collaborative group without the centre point group around? Are we a collaborative group now? Is, Is it possible? Or will this end when studio jamming ends? KR. Life first, the fresh and the uncontaminated, or maybe the uncompromised HP. Live publishing became the constant variable that allowed the discourse to commence. DT. The opportunity to make and to make together KR. The experience was a forum for experiments. DT. So this is a vocation then? Live refers to fresh and it's a time being. The collaboration happens in each age. It's printed matters and matters. The contributors are collaborating with the same way. Sharing and exchanging ideas. Our needs are the same. It's always where the origins are. You can't really see where this is going to go. In each. It's ending up in the same way. 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 It's Thank you. 